in your about section and also your headline, this applies to what if you have multiple audiences and multiple niches, multiple businesses, you know, product lines, things that are quite different from each other. And the example of what, for whatever reason I came up with was, what if I was a jewelry designer and a dog trainer and a life coach, <laughs> three sufficiently different product lines, what should I do on my LinkedIn profile? Uh, that makes me really unique. Maybe I design jewelry with lots of dogs <laughs> and some kind of, and some jewelry with like a, an encouraging message you know, for my life coaching uh, audience. You, you know, I mean, the thing is multi-passionate, multi-talented means you're really unique. I'm not just another life coach on LinkedIn. I'm a life coach who knows a lot about dogs <laughs> and brings some dog training into human training. No. And then also jewelry. I mean, I gift. So it makes me unique. You see what I mean? So uh, there's nothing. This is the old school LinkedIn idea was suit and tie. You have to be one thing, you know, and just stodgy and dry. And like, what is the most professional description? No, the new LinkedIn as of 2017, when they opened themselves up, LinkedIn changed in 2017. For those of you who don't know, um, dramatically changed in that it's now a content platform competing with Facebook and Twitter. It's now a content platform and medium.com and other places. It's now a content platform that people of all professions and all kinds of non-corporate professionals are posting on LinkedIn, all kinds of things, Reiki, astrology, um, very, you know, and other, you know, other kinds of more spiritual or holistic or non-corporate things. So it's what you're welcome to post about your jewelry and about your dog training and about your Reiki and about your animal communication and about your astrology. Very, very welcome. And so same thing on your profile. Why wouldn't you? I mean, think about your ideal client. If I'm the dog trainer, jewelry designer, life coach, do I think my ideal clients go, you're a jewelry designer and a dog trainer? I'm not going to, I think that makes you credible as a life coach. I don't think that's the truth. Right? I think, wow, that's really cool. Or if I, I'm, if I want to get more jewelry design, I don't know what that means. I don't design jewelry. But if I wanted to sell more of my jewelry, let's just say that. And get some, uh, you know, um, whatever outsource people or people sourcing my jewelry. Okay, um, am I embarrassed? That I'm also a dog trainer and a life coach. Probably not. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, those of you who source jewelry can let me know. It's it's, it's, it's going to be like no. This person is no. They just look at your images of jewelry, right? In, in that in that case, there are certain situations where maybe if you uh, coach banking executives about finances okay something really quote unquote dr traditionally dry maybe they don't want to know that you are some kind of woo some kind of spiritual thing that would turn off a lot of your banking executive clients that might be true that might not be true actually right a lot of banking executives are secretly woo but and then when they find out you are they're like wow you're a, you're a finance consultant who also does reiki cool I'm into that secretly. I'm not going to tell anyone, but I'd like it when I saw you. So I don't know, but but it's all about your ideal client. That's why I talk about it's all about your ideal connections, ideal clients. And you might say, well, referral sources might think I'm too woo woo or something like that. Well, I don't know. So that's why I think you need to write your profile for your ideal connections, which includes your ideal referral sources, and ask yourself: Is this too woo for them? Is this too Renaissance person for them to have these four different niches on one profile? I think in most cases, the answer is no, it's welcome. And so in your about section, um, you might just briefly overview your core values. Uh, that is the underlying connecting point among your jewelry designing, dog training, and life coaching. What are the kind of overall values of how you approach your business or your, your, your life? And then besides the over, over umbrella connection points, then you could have a section for each of your, your about section can have a, a brief section for, for jewelry design, dog training, life coaching. It's fine. Again, if you feel like that combination is palatable for your ideal connections, but do whatever. And if, you're, if you don't know, of course, just like we've said, give that version to five of your ideal connections and go, is this weird for my LinkedIn profile or would you think it's welcome for people to know that I'm integrating these different modalities and that I have these different interests? So uh, I hope this helps.